Welcome back to the Winning Agenda's coverage of the 2015 Melbourne Regionals Top 8 Double Elimination. We have Wilfred Horrig on the bottom screen on the Winning Agenda playmat playing his Haas Bioroid Engineering the Future IT Department Control Deck against uh, TD on the top there on the Games Laboratory mat playing uh, what will most likely be a standard Kate control list. Uh, Shieldsy, did you get a chance to play against either of these guys in the top eight before you were eliminated? <laughs> I did actually get crushed by TD. It was yeah. uh, quite brutal, although I didn't see his Kate list. I saw his uh, NBN list. Yeah. Yeah, where he was playing toll booths, incidentally. So. Uh, yes, I've seen that. Some people sort of just slip in a cheeky toll booth every now and then. Yeah. Because people tend to face plant into what they assume will be fairly, uh, fairly surpassable ice. Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, uh, for a lot of people, uh, that early in the game, when your economy is so light, often Eli is just worth clicking through. And so it's not really uh, as impermissible as they might like. I think Tolkien yeah. is probably a little bit too heavy-handed in that. Too deep, but, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I really I really do like the idea of you know, putting in one or two larger eyes just to cover R&D yeah. or just to cover HQ exactly right. against repeated siphons. So this is probably going to be a control matchup. So yeah. everybody at home, uh, get your chips and, and settle in. It's probably going to be a long one. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, are out of, what are you expecting out of... What are you what are you expecting out of uh, this game? It's kind of hard to tell a lot of the time, right? Like if I hadn't seen Wolfie's deck before, it would be it would just be you would say, well, HB is the most open uh, identity. Kate is a very open identity. Um, I think having seen a little bit of TD's yeah. games, I, I think a lot of people would be surprised. See, that's a mental health clinic there, mm. and TD's going to snap trash it, it and yeah. then. Uh, just go straight into to the very uh, idea. archives with the dirty laundry. Dirty yeah, you agree laundry. with the trashing it early there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's it doesn't feel good, right? It doesn't like, feel good. A lot of people would compare it to trashing a pad, but it's, it's very different. The the um, yeah. Uh, well, it, it doesn't look like it, but mental health clinic is kind of like a beanstalk ahead on pads. So yeah, trashing it now before he gets that credit out of it, just uh, we'll actually put Wolfie behind. You also know that TD really is sort of poking around these servers as well. Like he, uh, I mean, he did faceplant into the Enigma there, but it's good. I think you really want to make Wilfie spend his credits early mm-hmm. and as often as possible. Yeah. Um, it can become hard because some of his ice can be a bit uh, prickly, I guess, as, as Jesse Marshall would say. Like with Enigma there, making you lose a click. The data park's leading you. The, oh, the, dark, the, the, the architect, as Wilfie discussed in his deck tech, just gain you so much tempo mm-hmm. and uh hitting that feels worse than losing a click or two credits i think yeah at the same time though, we did see uh a couple of makers eyes in hand for td there just uh yeah we did sneakily over the top so you know if he can force a res yeah he could force a res if you want not a lot of people do that it can sometimes be okay like there's always the chance that wilfie you know on six or seven credits cannot afford to res the toll booth that maybe he's put there yeah um so he's obviously just checking there, but I mean, he he knows that he's playing a uh, Kate list or any shaper list, and he I think he's more than aware that he needs to have an affordable end the run ice on R and D from yeah. from the early point. You know, he can't afford to have because he knows he has to go so long. He can't afford to have even one agenda stolen this early in the game. Still, presuming that Wilfie will chew will um, send TD down the the path of uh, lowest scoring probability, TD gets a lot mm-hmm. of information just about how HQ looks. And I think it's worthwhile uh, uh, going for the chance of maybe hitting a maker's eye because yeah. being ahead on points early in the game, uh, especially when you're behind in the standings, uh, so you can't afford to go the time. Um, if he can get ahead up to four points or three points and force Wilfie to overcompensate onto R and D, he he can uh, fire off a legwork that maybe he has in his deck or fire off a sneak to a beta. Yeah. Who knows what the people have got. And just uh, abuse the relative weakness of other servers. Do you think Wolfie's worried about this data sucker here, accumulating credits? Because it can be can be a pretty handy tool against uh, IT department decks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but I mean, I suppose the IT department can surpass the uh, the number of counters on your data sucker fairly quickly. Yeah, yeah. The fact that it scales quadratically is a big deal there. Um, yeah. I guess it also kind of depends on how the how the windows come down. I, I think, if I recall correctly, the way it works is that whoever doesn't, whoever acts first is at a disadvantage. Yeah. So either Wilfie has to pump uh, before the run, before the encounter, so that yeah. TD can't shrink with Data Sucker into a parasite um, yeah. or clone chip a parasite and shrink it straight down. But at the same time, uh, if he doesn't act 
and pump TD can just uh, just trash the ice. Yeah. So that was actually an Eli in front of R and D. Mm. So TD now, if he's got the um, Maker's Eye in hand, as you suspect, yeah. he can run the Maker's Eye, click through Eli, and that's still going to feel pretty good. Like last the last turn, he uh, face checked the Enigma, lost a click, face checked the Eli, bounced. And uh, installed the clone chip mm-hmm. there. Now I'm not sure what he's got in the bin, but we can assume he's maybe trying to recur parasites, uh, things like that, uh, even just recurring things like self modifying code. But Wolfie's not going to give him that opportunity. No, he is. I think ice it up straight quite away. Re- wary to it. Wary to do with it. Okay, so Bastion, very interesting piece of ice to see, but works uh, very well in the IT department deck. We just want as, as many hard in the round ice as, as possible. It's interesting in the sense yeah. that it's vanilla. I'll give you that much. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, okay, so we've got Atman out. Uh, again, I mean, you've got to play with the tools you have, but an uh, interesting choice against the IT department list. Atman at 4. Uh, TD, I mean, I know he's playing that, but Atman at 4 is going to get, get through quite a few pieces of ice, but, I mean, as soon as the IT department comes down, if it does, um, it's uh, it's going to make Atman well, a bit irrelevant. Well, in those, in those early turns, in turns 1 or 2 yeah. of the department, um, the data sucker will do a lot of work there. And yeah, it's exactly going to do right. a lot of work here against the Bastions, the Elis, yeah. and the Tollbooths. So would, how do you feel about him when he's got the data sucker out, setting that admin at four and not three? Mm, it's it's quite interesting, isn't it? Mm. Um, you I, go guess, way there. I mean, we've got the IT department out now, as, as we can see. Wolfie's installed, click, click. I think he's just requested some dice, so mm. we'll have that in a moment. But sorry, what were you saying about the... Uh, I, I think the four, I think it's ind- indicatory of... TD not having a second data sucker in hand. Yeah. So I think with two data suckers, uh, an admin at three would probably be the way to go. Um, yeah, because you can really leverage the, the value when you run through the Enigma that, or HQ. That's or it, yeah. Uh, yeah. Getting, getting towards that toll booth and repeatedly getting towards those Bastions and Elias with uh, needing a data sucker to do it is really tough unless you have a way to actually get ahead on data sucker counters when you when you break the Eli or when you access archives. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Whereas with one data sucker counter, I, I just don't think that's doable. Um, mm-hmm. The other option, the, the other the other side to look at it, maybe that uh, TD has a Inti or a Lady yeah. in his deck somewhere, and so is okay uh, to say open up the field to those Wall of Statics, um, or maybe he has a Mimic, so he's happy to open it up to Architect. Yeah. Now we saw him trash. Uh, we saw TD trash the. Mental health clinic very early, but he did leave the Jackson on the table for quite a while, and Wolfie did do quite a bit of fetching with it. Do you think that uh, Jackson poses the same sort of inevitable threat that cars like mental health clinic do? No, I don't. I don't think so. I think, um, yeah, especially in very slow decks like this, uh, seeing more cards. Uh, we see there's another Jackson in hand there with that dirty laundry run, so mm-hmm. it'd be a little relevant. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the the thing to think about is that when you are uh, low on operations when you have maybe just your hedge funds and some restructures. Uh, seeing more cards won't necessarily give you an economic boost um, in terms of your credits. And, and really, in a slow deck like this, that's exactly what you're after. You're looking at turning those credits into yeah. board position. Yeah. Um, so, so what did we see there? We saw, we saw TD run the IT department and it's past turn. And Wolfie's just clicked it three times. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, having that on five counters there, always posing a big threat. If it gets much bigger than that, TD's going to have a very hard time economically trying to keep up with, with Wolfie. Five is, I think, probably a little bit outside the ballpark at the moment. TD's only got five credits left. Yeah, exactly um, right. I think he's suffered a lot this game from having not seen a professional contact or a prepaid voice Maybe. pad. We really don't know yeah, which he's got. Like We're not sure which, which portion he's playing. It, I think yeah. he's got a test run in hand too. So, I mean, if he's playing a Femme or a David, that could really put in a lot of work mm. for him. Yeah, and m- maybe he's splashing for inside job. We we can never really... Yeah, I mean, know. Wolfie's obviously got to be aware of that. I mean, even it's fairly unlikely that a Shaper would play inside job. I think he, yeah, he's, he's still, you'll see him when he does make a scoring server. He's never going to put the ice just behind one. Mm. Uh, sorry, he's never going to put the agenda just behind one piece of ice. He'll play around all the possibilities. And, you know, that's one of the reasons he's, he's such a good player. Oh, I don't know. Like, if, if Tiddy has Femme inside job, he'll definitely trash that IT department. Of course, um, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, and the, the thing is, if Wolfie did want to get around both of those cards, he would need a four deep server, all of which had a hard end of the runs. So that's yeah. no Eli's and uh, no architects on that server, um, yeah. which might just put him a bit too far behind. 
I think they're the only two uh, cards in this deck that don't have heart in the runs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I like TD's playing the testing out here. And what do you think we're likely to see? I would like to see that fan. We might see a lady. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Going through. Oh, it is a fan fatale. Now, what are you putting there? Is it on the bastion? On the bastion. Okay. Why do you think that is? Uh, so he can pump the zoo key master. That's true. But he can't get through there. I think we want to see a stim hack. Yeah, I mean, that'd be good. I mean, he's only got four credits. He wants to run there this turn. All Wolfie really has to do is, I think, maybe use one counter on that Enigma, and TD can't pay to get through it. And uh, it looks like he's just scavenged the fan. So he didn't run. He just got the fan out, chewed it, scavenged it, mm-hmm. kept it on the Bastion. I think maybe he's, uh, he's cottoned on to what you've cottoned on to there, right? He uh, mm-hmm. doesn't really have the capacity to make that run just yet. He does have a medium in Ooh, here, I saw there as well. That's very spicy. Yes, it is very spicy indeed. And I think if that came down, Wolfie wouldn't be expecting it. I mean, he is still playing uh, very very close to the vest on R&D. Like he knows he's against a shaper. But I don't think a lot of people expect the medium out of out of Kate Dex. Mm-hmm. It's good splash. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I really like it in the... Uh, uh, especially those more aggressively tailored shaper lists. Yeah. With, uh, well, actually, Test Run and Femme is a really great way to go about yeah. it. Um, and Atman's a really great way to go about it as well. There's... Possibly no better breaker for looking at breaking through quandaries, paper walls, things like that in the very early game yeah. whilst covering your base on Rotho, yeah. whilst synergizing well with the other sucker parasite. Exactly. I think that's a great suite to have. Yeah. So while Wolfie's turn there was uh, install the ice for one credit and click the OT department twice, TD has spent three clicks to draw. So he's digging for something and he's, uh, he's played out daily cast on his last click. What do you think maybe he's looking for here? Maybe the stim hack or some more economy piece. He, I think he probably will be looking for some kind of economy piece. Yeah. Uh, if he has the pitching st- the Deus Ex, yeah, mm-hmm. not going to be relevant. Uh, he could be looking for maybe a sharpshooter. Um, yeah. If he's worried about uh, Ichi, or- especially here with IT department uh, online and the threat of destroyers. Mm-hmm. If I have a sharpshooter in, in my rig somewhere, I would want to consider getting that. It's four times as efficient as Fem. Um, yeah. Which may just be enough to outscale this. Uh, this IT department, while it's less than 10. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, uh, I think Hitty does have another test run in hand, but he's at memory at the moment, mm-hmm. I think. Uh, I'm not sure what console he's playing or if he is playing one. He may be playing mem chips or something like that. So he's going to poke around HQ by the looks of it. Mm-hmm. It's the only piece that's not face down. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, where, it's where I, I, I do notice that a lot of these times when Wolfie's playing, the agendas do end up in HQ. Yeah, so yeah. Not a bad call. And that's the second time he's accessed that. Toll booth, unless Wolfie's installed another one, but that's got to hurt him. He's not really gaining any extra information, so he's going to check R and D. Wolfie, I think that was a that's bastion. A bastion, yeah. But Wolfie's got how many? Uh, Twelve credits. Does he want to spend it two res? I mean, he's still got two face down remotes. Probably one of them is a mental health clinic. Probably another Jackson. We did did see the mm-hmm. uh, the other Jackson. Well, in it could earlier. be the uh, the executive boot camp as well. That's true as well, just for that backup, which is very, very nice splash in a deck where you really want to get that IT department up and running. I've been absolutely loving it, yeah. yeah. I, I think the, the synergies between IT yeah. department, uh, oh, or at least between uh, uh, Executive Boot Camp and yeah. those uh, has Byroid trickle economies are absolutely yeah. fantastic. So that ice on R&D was a bastion. Wolfie immediately spent one counter from his IT department, making it strength. 11, I think. He went from 7, seven to 11, to yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's definitely out of the uh, data cycle like atmosphere. Take a there. look at TD's hand here. He's having a really tough time, hey? He's drawing a lot yeah. of programs. We're seeing some mods and some more clone yeah. chips. So maybe he is just uh, digging for the Proco if that's what he's playing. <laughs> or, I mean, we haven't seen a lucky find either. I think, uh, he, given that we haven't seen a lucky is. find, it's probably professional contacts. Yeah, um, which is which is fair. It's a very, uh, very good build. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I really love it to pieces. It's my preferred yeah. build. Um, and. So if he had it down, click, click there. he yeah. would be in a, just so much of a better position. It's so good against these mm. slow decks. Exactly right, because he can just stay back and take that up. But, I mean, Wolfie's in this point now. Uh, when I watched him play this deck, he gets to a point where his turns are just install somewhere, yeah. click, click. Yeah. Just install, click, click. And eventually, you know, it's like the sort of one step backward, two steps forward sort of situation. He's going to get that inevitability. Mm-hmm. Uh, so TD's running HQ. Wolfie's not resing the first one. He's pumping the Enigma. Um by one, so that's uh, put put up to strength a lot, and uh, so Tilly's just going to eat the click loss. It's only, there, it's only a strength eight. Strength eight. I mean, I, you still don't want to pay eight there. I guess I don't know if Tilly had the credits there, but he's going to eat the click loss. 
play out another day of the cast, given that the trickle economy will really put in a lot of work over the next few turns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think if Wolfie can get that down and put a piece of advice on it, he probably he probably will take that opportunity. Um, and, and now, I mean, this again showcases the importance of wanting to check that ice as often as possible because Wolfie's been able to play the uh, restructure. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think he probably would have had that for a little while, but TD's been poking around his servers, forcing him to res the ice and keeping Wolfie below that that um, 10 credit. Mm-hmm. The other advantage there is that uh, TD's really doing his best to keep that IT department below 10. We've seen it go up to 3, then 5, then 7, but back down to 4. He's really making Wolfie work for it. And part of that is that he does have quite a few credits left in pool and that yeah. uh, Atman working very hard as a high strength yeah. breaker. Okay, so we're seeing another bastion there. So uh, TD ran R&D, forcing Wilfred to use one of his counters, and he's checking the IT department server against another bastion, forcing Wilfred to use another counter because he can just get through with the fam- uh, with the admin anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, that's... that's. I mean, it's good uh, time. Like, he's he's paying essentially a click there to for every one of Wilfie's clicks, and if Wilfie can, Wilfie can change that disparity in his favour, then he's he's going to get, you know, well ahead in the game. At the same time, as those daily casts trickle down, I think TD has a lot of the capacity to get back in here. As his credit pool expands and Wolfie is forced to spend maybe even two counters keeping TD out of any uh, of a code gate, that's a big deal. That's why I've seen the install over the Bastion on R&D. Mm-hmm. Mm. And, uh, and I think that's probably going to be a data pike or an architect. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen... It could be the toll booth as well, although if he reses that, he's going to get down to two credits, yeah. which isn't going to feel very good for or him. I it mean, could be an Eli. Frankly, it could be anything that's not like a, a, a vanilla in the run. Barrier, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so TD's poking around again, just forcing Wilford to use those uh, those counters, mm-hmm. which is supposed to be. And so maybe the 8 minute 4 was a pretty good call. Oh, it's but a fantastic that, call. But, but that said, I mean, um, perhaps Bastion has been the best option. We haven't seen Wilfie's hand. He's been keeping it uh, pretty close to the vest. So, I mean, any any ice is, is good ice. And Tollbooth that, uh, is still really good against that with four. Like this is this is the power of Tollbooth. It never really it never really gets shut down. It's like no, not at all. It's like every time you go there, you're like oh, I'm still paying the money. Like I mean, Fem is the only thing that's going to get around mm-hmm. it. And uh, TD's going to have to play another scavenge if he scavenge if he wants to redeploy the Fem onto a, a Tollbooth, um, which which may be that fourth piece of ice at there. this point. Yeah. Double Bastion is about as easy to get through as single Bastion. So. Mm. Like, Wolfie has exactly eight credits here, so he could res a toll booth on any of these servers. Uh, do you think it's interesting that TD hasn't really poked around archives yet? Because he, if that ice is somewhat permissible, like if it's just an enigma or something, he, he can uh, be accumulating data sucker counters, which will help him out, not to mention forcing, <coughs> forcing him to res. Well, I, I think there's a lot of threat there. I think maybe if TD had a spare influence somewhere, we could see a Hades shard. Um, yeah. Exactly like right. that, that's uh, if he's using two of his Jacksons here, so there were obviously quite a few agendas in there. That's because TD was poking the Jackson service. Yeah, Sorry, that's it. Chilling. And then the second thing is that, um, kind of, kind of strangely, because Wolfie doesn't have any Hades shard or Hades fragment, rather, mm-hmm. as the game goes on and uh, the Jacksons become used, his R and D is going to increase in point density very quickly, um, which we'll notice that TD hasn't spent any of his maker's eyes. Yeah, yeah, he's holding that. He's also got the... He hasn't put down the uh, R&D interfaces yet. They're in hand. Oh, sorry. Here comes the data pike. Yeah. And that's going to put in work. Like, he uses one counter on that. It's going to bleed those credits from the runner's pool. Yeah, that's going to be really tough. Doesn't feel good. I mean, we haven't seen data pike played in uh, for a very long time. I mean, Yogg usually shuts it right down, but it's really, really complimentary to this list. Yeah, and it's, it's a really good format to uh, break out those... Between two to five, or three and five, I think is probably where you want to be. Strength code gates with more than one sub, interestingly enough. Yeah. So. Let me see Wolfie's installed over something over there. Oh, he's got the wall of static. There you go. It, which, uh, that's going to straight up keep him out. Yeah. He doesn't even have to spend anything, because he, uh, unless he's got a lady, I mean, that's Wolfie's checking the bin there. And he's going to check this server, which I think may eventually end up being a uh, Wolfie's scoring server, but there's a boot camp in there, just in case uh, TD had managed to get in there and trash that IT department. I mean, but that could have also been his third Jackson there. So trashing it, is, it still doesn't feel good as a runner, I don't think, in the situation, but it's probably the right call. Zero cost, three trash assets or certainly always feel bad to, to deal with. Um, Especially when it's threatening another Jackson. 
uh, executive boot camp does present quite a bit of threat. Yeah. Ah, and then Wolfie's got the Jackson there you go. out anyway, so he's going to draw up. What do you think Wolfie's looking for? Just more economy at this point? Is I think he surely wants to de- uh, develop more economy. He's probably looking for a mental health clinic. Um, yeah, we've only seen one of them, which was trash, I believe. Mm-hmm. And if I was in his position, I, I certainly would have shuffled, one, shuffled that one back in. Oh, yeah. We did use two Jacksons, so I doubt there were six agendas. He's got a very low agenda density, as you were saying. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he would have shuffled in some other pieces. Yeah, that's it. But most of them were faced. He's out. down to three creds. If TD can keep him down to three creds, it doesn't really matter mm-hmm. how big his IT department gets. He yeah. won't be able to ever score, and we'll just exactly. lose to the clock. And I think what TD really wants here is uh, something that can break that wall static or threaten to break the wall static, because that means he can put a lot of pressure on that server, force Wilfie to, you know, use those counters more often than he'd like. That's it. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, keeping it very low. Yeah. I think in a lot of ways that um that wall of static bastion combination, uh, Wolfie's replicating a data pike there. He wants TD to break the wall of static with a credit, spend two credits on it. Yeah, and then just block him out with a bastion. Yeah. So. Have him uh, force him to spend those two credits as well. Mm-hmm. Just not pump the wall of static. Okay. So, that- so Wilfie's letting a letting an access happen here, and it misses. Yeah, well, I mean that's what he had to hope for. Yeah. but I mean Wilfie's probably done the math. He, he, I imagine he's got a few agendas in hand. Uh, that was a green level clearance. He's decided to show us there, showing us again. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Uh, and Wilfie's last turn, which is click the department three times as well. So he's got and uh, obviously nothing to install to leverage. Yeah, a common turn. Yeah. Not when you want to hear as a runner either. No, click three times, no. you're like, oh. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a little bit better than click four times. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. And um, especially with boot camp, uh, I, I personally could see a development in this list that takes uh, direct arse into consideration. Yeah. And given how dense the ice is and the, and the deck's scoring capacity, even mandatory upgrades could make its way in here. I don't think that's too far-fetched. I think it's, if, if, the, if the card's going to work anywhere, it's going to be in this kind of deck. Yeah. TD has discarded the R&D interface. Do you think he's sort of abandoning that long-term plan and maybe just holding on to the maker's eyes in the hopes of scoring? Or do you think it's more just the, like, I mean, he's, I think it's eight credits in his pool there. Like, he probably can't really afford the tempo loss on installing a... Yeah, I think the cost is probably just too high at this point. Yeah. Um, given that the extra card isn't necessarily going to change much about uh, his yeah. chances of scoring, because his chance of scoring is very high here. He, he may just yeah. not need it to make uh, yeah. satisfactory runs. I mean, and again, there we're we're pretty late into time, so Wilfie either is fairly confident that his this the the TD's not going to hit an agenda off the top, uh, or he's in the situation where he's got to choose to conserve his credits and uh, try to balance his economy. Because I mean, if 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 TD had stolen two points off the top there, Wilfie's in a lot of pressure to score three points worth of agendas in the next even ten minutes. And Wolfie's under a lot of pressure to score as well, and he may just not have that capacity. He's still down on two credits. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't yeah. found that mental health clinic. He hasn't found another Ash or um, maybe an Eve if he's got one. Um, and yeah. if TD has a second data sucker or a parasite for that, um, mm. that data pike on archives, he may just be able to power, uh, power his board position into a, an undefeatable position. Another thing we haven't seen, which is kind of like a drip economy, is uh, Wilfie using the second mode on boot camp to res his ice at the beginning of his turn at a cheaper cost. Mm-hmm. I know that he does that in a lot of his games, and we haven't seen that. I'm not sure if that's because TD's trashed the department, uh, trashed the boot camp, or if uh, Wilfie just hasn't seen the boot camp. So that may be a boot camp or a mental health clinic in that new server he's installed this turn. I think uh, partially because Wilfie hasn't seen that much influence out of TD yet. Uh, yeah. He may just not be able to justify. Spreading. NAPD on the top of the deck then, and wow. uh, TD couldn't afford to steal it. Sorry to interrupt you there, Shields. I just wanted to point that out. Wow. I mean, that doesn't feel very good. I mean, Ooh. to finally get in there and um, and not be able to steal an NAPD, uh, that is just a fantastic card. I mean, we rave about it a lot. Well, if we would have known as well, he would have looked. He, yeah, he's, no, he's, uh, he's like, oh, there's only... Uh, there's, there's, only, there's only three NAPDs in the deck or something. Left in the deck, yeah. there's a bunch of 5 for 3s and archives you can't get yeah, in. There's the other 5 for 3s in my hand. That's brutal. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to say that um, because Wolfie's credits are so low and he hasn't seen that much influence, he can't necessarily say for sure that TD doesn't have a, a sneak door or a legwork or maybe an imp or something like that um, that would really pressure non-R&D servers. Um, so I think he probably just wants to keep those credits tied up and nice and flexible. Yeah. So Wilfie res the data pike there to protect his Jackson. 
Um, do you think it was just to protect the Jackson, or do you think it was just also just bleed TD, sort of two credits for one of Wolfie's clicks in a way? The bleed is know? certainly good. I think he probably yeah. wants to put a, um, a mental health clinic in that server down the line, or develop it as his scoring server, as well as the, the Jackson being, uh, well, completely and utterly necessary for Wolfie's uh, ability to score out because he he doesn't have yeah. any cards left at this point. He may have less than fifteen cards exactly left. Right. And also, he's got to be wary if he's discarding agendas to keep them safe. Uh, that's his last Jackson. That's it, as yeah. we've seen. So he's got to keep it alive. He's got to keep seven points in the deck, mm-hmm. or you know, the deck in the hand. Yeah. Okay, so TD's going to poke R and D again. Going to be no, no rest on the first. I think one, you're right. That's probably a top booth. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, <laughs> when it gets to round two resing that, it's going to be a pretty brutal for TD if it does happen. And there's an Architect on the top. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, a card we haven't seen much of this game. I know, I'm pretty sure Wilfie runs three of them. Um, he's a big fan of the tempo swing. I mean, but they're, they're just, the, this, the disadvantage is it doesn't end the run. And it's at its best on R&D. Yeah, I, I think probably with IT department, firing, firing an Architect is basically like an end the run subroutine. Like, yeah, uh, th- there are very unique circumstances where it's not, and in those circumstances, you can bring back a Jackson or bring back an executive boot camp and have a shuffle. So, yeah, exactly um, right. So yeah, or, most of the time they won't they won't score off of it. They're not going to access, um, especially when TD is only accessing with three credits. I mean, you he could have learned yeah. from that. He accessed with two, it was an NAPD. He yeah. attacked again with three. Wolfie just let him straight in. He yeah. knows there's only an NAPD. Yeah. All right, he's going to go again here. Wolfie's. Yep. Uh... And look at that. This time TD's got the four and Wolfie pumps. He knows. Yeah. If that's not a clear tell, I don't know what it is. Yeah, okay. And we're seeing that a hedge fund this deep into the game. That's, and then a restructure. So game. now, now yeah. Wolfie's back where he wants to be. And I think if that's a toll booth on R&D, he's, uh, that's online. And yeah, that's looking looking pretty dark. I mean, there are, I think, uh, not all of them turn the right way up, but I think that's five counters on the data sucker. But uh, okay, so is Wolfie going to res this? Looks like uh, he's thinking. Checking the bin again. <laughs> Always good to see. Uh, those, of you, those of you who don't do it against Shaper, when they've got the clone ship out, you've got three clone ships out, you really need to be aware of what they have. And there's the booth. And uh, that's going to be painful. Yeah. TD's gone down to three credits. I mean, it would cost him. He could still break it. I mean, I, Wolfie's not pumping it. I mean, he won't pump until he gets to the Bastion. He wants his opponent to spend his resources. Yeah, I think maybe just TD's going down too low to... Uh... Yeah, I mean, you have to poke at some point. He's got his Desperado out. That's it, yeah. So he's getting a touch of value from, from making these these runs. At the same time, if he can't access with four credits, then there's really no point. Like, yeah. He's probably just better off clicking for a credit, so... Yeah, yeah. and uh, I think he's finally drawn a professional context then. Ooh. I think I saw it in his hand, which is... I know, look, we say better late than never, but... I disagree pretty, with that. I think sometimes it's yeah. just better not turning up, right? It's just better not turning up and, and mocking you. So, and look, Wolfie's uh, Wolfie's going to uh, Wolfie's going to play another restructure. Look, he may have shuffled some of those in with his Jacksons earlier as well. Mm-hmm. But he's sitting on a cool, uh, I think, twenty-five credits there, uh, fifteen credits, fifteen credits. Yeah, yeah, fifteen credits oh. to TD's five. Okay, and, and he's paying the five to play out the. The pro code. I mean, do you, do you bother with the pro code here? Do you take the five credit loss to play it? Uh, I mean, like, there's runs. really no threat of Wolfie ending the game. I think he probably still ends up. You you probably count the number of cards in the deck and actually weigh it up, which is a strange thing to consider. But yeah, but if he can draw fifteen or twenty cards off of it, he'll he'll be fine. In hand, I'm trying to figure out where else his influence is because all we've seen is the data sucker and the medium, as far as I know. And the fan. Oh, and the desperado. And the desperado. Okay, sure. Play. Okay, that was very silly of me to say. Yeah. And I think with the clone chips and the data circle, we can expect at least a parasite. You'd hope so. Mm. Yeah. Now, parasite's an interesting card in this matchup. But so we're going to see the SMC come down with the clone uh, with the uh, the Akametsu mem chip. I think that is. Mm-hmm. So uh, he can go fetch up anything he needs at this point. And he did discard the Inti earlier as well, but Inti is uh while it's great in a lot of cards and i know you and i really like it it's uh not the best barrier breaker to have in this not in this kind of matchup, this matchup. Yeah. no um, he's just back to install click click by the looks of it so he's scavenging the fem onto the toll booth okay, and this is what we we're talking about being worried before because now wolfie's going to have to spend those uh well i mean he's now got 11 11 counters on the it department so he's not too stressed about spending one of them a turn to keep him out of r&d mm-hmm. 
thing. So he's going to run here, pay one to bypass. Now Wilfie, I think he's just going to, he's probably just going to snap. Like just, uh, just snap, pump the, uh, the Bastion. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that's plus 15 strength yeah. or something the, the, like that. The thing yeah. is, uh, TD still has no pumpable barrier breaker. Uh, yeah. He, he probably will have a dog somewhere in the mix. Like, I, I just can't yeah. see. There's the sharpshooter in the bin mm-hmm. as well, though. I think uh, Wolfie has an Ichi somewhere in the mix, so that's going to be worthwhile. Yeah, he around. does. Yeah. I, I mean, he's. I mean, when we've tested, he's blown me out with it. And I'm just like, ah, oh, it's you know, I can click through that stuff. But uh-huh. some, sometimes you uh, you forget about it and you run yeah. close to the back, and he just pumps it, so you can't break it with your mimic or whatever you have, and you just lose half your board. You know? Yeah. Right. And Wolfie's thinking. Yeah, he's got. Couple more, more than a couple of agendas in hand, from what I can see, and just agendas and ice. He's used his last Jackson, so he has to be weary that if TD can somehow get into get into archives, it'll be an issue for him. But he's just going to install, gain the credit, click, click. Twelve counters on the IT department. Like, is there a point, Liam, where you're just kind of like, uh, let's go to game two? Like, yeah, I mean, like. Uh, I guess the network on the community, while it's still quite young, conceding still seems quite of a strange thing, especially since yeah. um, since there is an element of variance. You know, the run the can yeah. always just pluck the game straight out. Sometimes, if they have to be able to access the server, though. And then, okay, so Titi's going to poke uh, poke R and D, spinning his credit to get bypass the fashion. And is Wolfie pumping the Eli there? Oh, interesting. So, I mean, obviously, uh, it's maybe uh, TD is run, hasn't run with clicks enough. It could be no, no, no clicks left to get through there, mm-hmm. which is, I mean, uh, Wolfie's fine with that because that means he's using the credits from his... Uh, and the, and he's, he's got, broken the yeah. Bastion. And that's the second... Uh, there we go, yeah. Second data second come out there. Now, Wolfie's got five, well, not many cards left in his deck. So they're probably... Archives is full of agendas... And yeah, he's scoring out the beta test, all right. And he's not going to run. He's deciding not to run yeah. it. No, I don't think he can afford to at this point because he's only got a few cards yeah. there. Look though, if TD can find that parasite uh, and spend the turn getting it over that data sucker, Wolfie will have to respond. He's got three. Oh, there it is. Got archives, and that now that's a two strength data pike. Now, obviously, you can't expect to kill it with the data sucker with that. That IT department in play, but I don't think there's a window if it sits there for two turns that Wilfie can use it at the beginning of the turn to stop it from dying. Like it's still got a two turn clock on it. I think that's how that works. Yes, on on TD's second turn. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, in that time, Wilfie's got to install a pe- like almost any other piece of ice there. That's not an Eli. Yeah, I dare say he's yeah. just going to overwrite it. Um, yeah. Maybe maybe he, he'll he risk... Ice Install, advance. So, yeah, so Wolfie's just going for the score now. Yep. He's feeling very confident. He's got uh, 11 counters on the IT department. Yep. He's got 11 credits. One of those things is a data pike, which he knows is pretty much out of TD's range of breaking with that zoo. Yeah, especially when TD's down to eight, eight credits as he is. Uh, I, th- I think he's... Is it eight? Yeah, I can't quite... It's, a, it's about that. Down. Yeah. About eight or yeah. so. The data sucker can do a lot of work here, but he can just always pump it, it twice, can. you know? So Yeah. yeah this is yeah, the advantage yeah. of getting it it's up huge. towards those numbers. It's just so big. Yeah. Yeah. He only needs to live out a little bit longer, though. That's what I was thinking. Uh, dirty Laundry, the server there. So, I mean, Wolfie could just let it fire. I mean, the, the what the three credit gain from that isn't huge, but, I mean, he's just got a ball of static there. So, again, he doesn't even have to use a... Thing to pump it. I mean, unless TD is going to fetch up his inti, but yeah, it's it's kind of strange. Yeah. Um, TD's credit pool is going to interact directly with the number of counters on IT department. Oh, oh, and this I'm not sure what click this is. Might be deep in it. And that's the game. Yeah, no, no trash. Firing off. Yeah, nothing at all. He has the sharp shooter. No, turn, turn. Yeah, no, he didn't hit back the sharp shooter. Did, he could have got didn't it, too. it in. Yeah, but he uh, Wolfie just sniped that parasite huh. off his data pike and got rid of that fem. Yeah. So that toll booth is back online. Yeah. I think Wolfie's feeling pretty good at this point. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he'll just he'll just uh, be scoring out from here for sure. We're getting very close to time. How long's if time? Thirty five minutes. I think thirty five minutes. Yeah, yeah. We'll... So if we're not in it already, very close. But I mean, Wolfie's highest seed and he's already on two. So so TD's going to clone chip back that parasite at the end of Wolfie's turn. We assume. So it's going to get a counter. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I imagine he's going to go ditch for archives. But 
That's still a... Uh, Still gives Wolfie a whole other turn to replace it. I mean, he didn't advance his uh, agenda last turn, but he has to be wary of these credits, I suppose. Yeah, it's one part credits and the yeah. one part that there's really no threat on that server while yeah. our T department's so big. Um, yeah. I think something he should be wary of from TD yeah. is also flashing so, back. So the, TD um, just gained three credits then. Yeah. I mean, I think we're in time and uh, Wolfie's indicating to him that he's got points ahead, so maybe TD didn't quite understand. Um how the victory condition would work 35 minutes 35 minutes yeah yeah like I, i'm a little bit surprised that the fam never came down uh to break into archives i think that the, would be um, a really strong play yeah the yeah exactly you could have clinched it back to fam yeah almost yeah um so yeah for those of you who don't know wolfie is the highest seed because he was top of the swiss and uh if uh there's a tie for agenda points, and the highest seed wins, but Wolfie's got two. And yeah, there, there's the hand. So a uh, slog of a game, obviously going to time. And Wolfie had, we see, I think, three or four or four agendas in hand at the end there. Well, let's call that two and a quarter points scored. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly man, right. like, So what do you think of that game? Hell of a game. That, I would yeah. have liked to have seen, uh, seen that go a bit longer. I think it was absolutely yeah. brutal for TD not having uh, access to contact early in the game. I think so, 100%. Um, Ooh, cause yeah, he drew very so interesting many play. cards. He did draw draw a lot, and then uh, only seeing the one at the end. Um, I, yeah, I didn't think about that. The uh, the fem coming down on on arc. I was just poke around there when Wolfie had no Jacksons left. Mm. Could have put in a lot of work. I'll be very interested to see where the rest of these matches go. Um, you're watching the winning agenda's coverage of the 2015 Melbourne Regionals. Uh, stay tuned. The next video is coming right up. Thanks for watching.